Hey there everyone, Hitesh here. Welcome back to another video. We're continuing our series of React Native and again a big shout out to Hashnode for sponsoring this video. So we are on to a project too and in continuation we want to build a project which is more focused on styling so that we can focus on the styling. I've already created a new project here so this is just like basics how we did in the section one or the initial section of the video. Just create a basic empty project and in this section what I had to do a little bit extra is somehow this locale.properties file is not getting created in any of my project. So I just manually go ahead and create just like I showed you in the earlier videos and just simply place if you are on a Mac or if you are on a Windows or there are other articles being written on the hash node for the same project that how you can set this up into Linux, Mac or Windows or something like that. The goal is that we should by now uh, should have a really basic project up and running. And when I run up my Metro, which is this, it should be running my application onto a device. It could be your simulator, iOS or Android, whatever you're using. I'm using a real device just to prove the point that yes, I, you can actually build everything on your own Android device. No need to buy any, any expensive laptop or simulator. So we'll be using a real device for throughout this one. All right, so this is pretty good. Now let's go ahead and get started. I've already briefed you about the project that we are building and we'll be focusing on the styling part majorly of it. So first and foremost, we'll be opening up app.tsx and what we want to do in this one is simply go ahead let me just minimize this and let's go ahead and remove this this entirety of the things and i have installed an extension so by the way you can also check out few extensions up here so there's this extension that you can go for so this is the one uh es7 this is by dsz nas there hope i said it correct so this gives you a lot of snippets that you can use to actually speed up the process now we know and understand the things that how we can create a react a basic component and all of that we don't need to spend our time wasting writing everything manually we can just use these shortcuts and snippets being given to us so for example rnfe is for react native functional component you can hit the tab and it gives you that hey we want to call it as an app and this is how it just generates the snippet. So saves a lot of time now that we are on the point that we can actually go ahead and afford a saving of this time. So this is absolutely great. And this is exactly what we want to do as of now. All right. So uh, this is all it. Let's go ahead and save this. As soon as I save this, this is going to refresh my app and I can see the app being written at the very top, really basic. Now let's go ahead and import a couple of things. So first and foremost, I'm gonna go ahead and highlight this uh, view. And I'm going to go ahead and import the safe area view. So notice here, it auto imports it, but I also want to copy and paste it. What this will do, it will uh, just save my text and elements from those notches, which are available these uh, in these phones these days. Not only that, for the future proofing, because I'll be, I know that I'll be creating a lot of components, we'll be bringing them up here. I want to have a scroll feature right in the app component. So inside the safe area view, I would like to have a simple scroll view. So once I have the scroll view, that's it. Now all the text and everything will go inside this one. So I'll just like to keep it that uh, really simple. All right, as of now, there is nothing which is going to drastically change the app. But since I have studied them uh, thoroughly about the safe area and scroll view, I know what their impact is and where they will be used. That is the most important thing. Now further down the road, what I want to do is I want to organize things a little bit better compared to what we have been doing so far. So I want to keep all of my components because I know I'll be creating a variety of lists, top to bottom scrollings and all of that. I would like to put them into a separate component folder itself. So just create a folder in the home directory and I'm going to call this one as components and simply let's just create another component. The first component that we'll be creating is simply a flat list. So we're going to go ahead and call this one as flat uh, card dot tsx you can at this point you can simply say js or jsx as well but there is a default way of uh, accepting the typescript and maybe eventually later on down the project you might want to use typescript i do have a playlist of typescript as well but you can go ahead and do that i'll just simply have an enter here that's it it is not going to impact your app anyhow because it's just a standalone folder that is being created. It's not going to do anything at all. Now, here are a couple of shortcuts that you can use. You can use RF or NFS, which is React Native, which also gives you the style sheet as well, which I really like. So we'll be going ahead and using this. All right. So now that I have these uh, flat cards available, there is nothing much more than this. It just says a text, simply flat cards. I want to open up this app dots, uh, app dot tsx and I want to bring this component here. That's really the whole thing that we'll be doing in this uh, particular thing. 
So it's really simple. How we can go ahead, there are a couple of ways actually to do this, and it is better that actually you use the functionality of VS Code. For example, uh, just below the app, I want to use this flat card. So just start with the Angular bracket and start writing flat cards. Notice here, the first suggestion says, I will not only bring it, but I will also import the import statements for it. This is an IntelliSense by the VS Code. It's always a good idea to use that. So let's go ahead and use that. Notice here, it imports that, and I'll just close it down. You can make it self-closing, or you can make it closing like this. Both of them are absolutely safe. As, as soon as I save this, it imports a flat card, but you will also see sometimes when we bring these components, the better practice is, or a common practice is to use a self-closing component. Now there is nothing wrong or right here. You can use either one of them. This is much more of a common style of using the things. So uh, let's go ahead and have this one. Now I can go ahead and remove this app because that's not needed and that's not the design that we are going afterwards. Now how clean this is. I can actually keep all of my components into a folder and bring them uh, either on conditional rendering or I can just have them whenever I want. And I'll be just working on the flat card itself. So this makes things much, much more cleaner. All right. So what we're going to do is here we have a view. We have a text. This is this is all what we have. Now, in the next video, we'll try to create those cards, the square buttons, and we'll talk a little bit about the styling, how this can be done. So this will give you a little bit more idea of how things actually can move from just being a text and instead of the text, we can have some of these squarish element and what does the styling actually means in the React Native. I hope you have enjoyed. The only thing that you have to do for this one is uh, make sure you study a little bit about the structuring of the React Native apps. There are a lot of ways how you can structure your components, keep them into separate folder, nest them around and all of that. Do a little bit of a research around it and write a, a, a blog article on Hashnode about uh, what are the different ways how you can structure your React Native app. The one that I'll find absolutely amazing, which defines the structure and with the diagrams and all of that, I'll feature that into the official repository of this uh, entire project and the course that we are building up. That would be a fantastic one. Join our Discord server, hit that subscribe, and I'll surely catch you up in the next one.